Hi, um, got a uh, question from the internet. The water is coming out of the, uh, out of the, well, everything. Okay, so just take off the panels, pop off. Uh, there's, you can remove the top uh, plates. Uh, there's two Phillips screws here that also, you can loosen this up to remove to if you can't get off the panels it does goes into the slot here okay so um, heater purchase that and the pump is down in here okay so, so um, we can actually see it on this side okay I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this other. I had my other phone fixed finally. It was actually cheaper to fix the phone than to, to uh, actually. So I, I bought a new one and then it, this cost more than fixing my old phone and my old phone's better. Uh, it's a Note 10, this is a A14. Nothing wrong with A14, it's just compared to the Note 10. This is a little bit uh, slower. So anyway, so let's video this. I'm gonna video a close up. Okay, let me pull back, okay, to show. Okay, I'm recording. And I'm showing, this is the water pump right here. Okay. Now. The. The water, the, the water, when the, when it's hooked up to city water with, with the hose, uh, usually a braided hose, uh, cause it's under city water pressure. It fills up, it, it goes into this diverter and then it fills up the tank. Okay. When the power's turned on, the tank fills up with water. Okay. From there, the water goes into the pump through this hose. So this is the input of the pump. And outputs on the other side. So, uh, I tell you, no, nope, there's no water in there. So I'm gonna fill. I'm gonna fill it up manually, okay? Instead of hooking it up to city water. So, if you have this hooked up to city water, as soon as you turn it on, if this tank is empty, yeah, if the dose tank is empty, then it, you'll see this fill up with water, okay? So right now. I'm just gonna access the so I'm taking out the the front back panel of the of the the cup heater okay so it comes out and then uh, this this is just clipped on okay so it's just a clip on you know what I'm gonna go ahead and take out the back so you can see everything clearly so it's four screws Okay, so here, here's the back plate off. Okay, so this is the dosing tank. Okay, this just clips on, okay. Um, now there was a question asked, uh, how do you set these probes? If you wanted to, you could just flatten everything down. Just flatten everything down, because it's pretty much preset. Okay, uh, this one is set up for my particular type of coffees uh, but generally speaking it'll be like a, a staircase going up like as you can see it's short then next one up next one up and this would be up here and then this one would be up here and then this one would be up here higher so you can see the differences normally it would be if you're just starting out brand new and you don't know what just bring it all the way down flat because if you bring it all the way flat you're pretty much in a ballpark okay so anyway this is empty uh, I'm just gonna manually fill it. There is an overflow up here 
which goes down into the drain drain line right here. So so you can't overfill it. So anyway, so when you turn on the machine, this is what would happen. It would you'd hear the the water come in city water. Now it's got to be under pressure. City water would fill this all the way up to to the top of this probe, the shortest one. Uh, shortest one is this one, okay? Or whichever shorter, okay? Now. There was asked, do you need to drop this in acid or anything like that? No, all you got to do is wipe it off because this is just, it's just scale, water scale. Take a green pad. I, I'm even cleaning it with my finger there. That's all you got to do. The main thing is the tip here is clean. You know, the rest of it on the side doesn't matter because it senses, as soon as it touches the water, it, it does something. Okay, so right now... This should be, this water water should be flush with this one right here. It's probably a little too high, but that's okay. So I'm gonna put this back in, and it, like I said, it just clips in. So it doesn't need to be sealed or anything. It just needs to be seated flat, and you can see water overflowing. It'll go down into this tube. I'm gonna move this tube to the ground so it doesn't get on the table. Okay, so, so this tank is filled. Put the water on the side. Now, I'm gonna have you watch, I'm gonna have you watch this. I'm gonna use this camera. Let's see. Okay. Camera. Okay, um. Have you watched that the water on this tank? So I'm gonna plug it in. Sure, this is off. You okay, plug it in, and as soon as I turn it on. You'll hear a click trying to fill this up, but I think it, it won't click on because it's already full. Okay, so I'm turning it on. Okay, it's gonna heat up the tank, but I don't wanna heat it up. I'll just uh, check off disconnect the, I'm gonna disconnect the heater because I don't want this thing turning on. Okay, so I disconnected the heater because we don't need it right now. Okay. So, turn it on, the water fills up. It's full now. Okay, I'm gonna hit a dose, okay? So any setting. And you watch, watch the water go down. Watch the water go down. Okay, so it stopped. It hit the top of this particular probe. This is the top. So it hit that top of that probe and it stopped, okay? Now, if I was to hit it again, it won't turn on because it's asking for water to ref refill again. So, so even pressing the dose button won't do anything because there's not enough water, okay? So that's how you know when it's dosing water. Now, the question is, what if water doesn't come out, okay? Well, then you're looking at a, uh, you're looking at a pump that's not working. So you heard the pump vibrate zzz, like that. So it's pumping water, but is the water actually coming out? So then you would remove this hose. Let me turn this off. You would remove this hose. Let me show this braided hose right here. There's a braided hose. Okay. And turn on the pump again, see if water comes out. Now, if water comes out, then you check, you check the, the solenoid. Okay. So in this case, solenoids in the front on the boot head. I'm gonna take off this pan.
this one is clear i know because uh, we just got finished uh, doing a video checking the whole machine so this machine works so anyway so water was coming out of here but let's say water is not coming out of here then you check your group solenoid valve okay that's this one here let me see if you can see that okay yeah i'll tip this over okay this is a group solenoid valve right here so what you can do is you can disconnect this there's a little screw there's a there's a little screw on the top if it's not screwed in i don't think this one is i think that's a yeah this one can be removed so you remove that you use a it's either a 12 or 14 anyway you move the uh you remove the the back flush uh pipe and then there's some nut there's a nut here you loosen up this nut and if you have a special tool like a uh, I think it's a 22 it's a slim down 22 it goes it goes around this nut but you don't need to just remove this valve remove the uh, nut remove this nut remove the washers and stuff like that and this coil will slip out I have a video on it coil slip out and then you can access the the barrel of this you remove the barrel and then if you check you, by removing the barrel you release all the pressure from the uh, heat exchanger and see if water try that water test again and water should come out of here okay if it's not then that means this this section is clogged so then I have a video on that okay uh, if water is coming out then reattach the solenoid fill up with water again press it see if this thing clicks if it doesn't click that means this is not turning on you got some other problem we'll address that later anyway but assuming it clicks but water still doesn't come out then you need to remove the the nuts there's three of them the bolts there's three of them remove the group head take off the shower screen take out the shower head see if the shower head is clean or not and then and then while it's off turn it on again to see if water comes out of the shower head Okay, it should. If it's not, then you have a problem with the heat exchanger. It's probably clogged. Okay, you're gonna have to take this whole section apart. There's a video of that too. Okay, so that's the water flow. Okay, so in summary, if you have it hooked up to water, if you have it hooked up to water, in summary, as soon as you turn it on, if this is empty, this will you'll hear a click, and then the water will rush in and fill this up. To about here okay it'll stop nothing will happen after that except the heater will turn on and the boiler will start to heat now before that happens you can hit the dose button and get a shot out of your group head okay and you'll see this water go down just like earlier in the video to whatever button whatever selection you did whether it was a long shot double shot or whatever and that will go all the way down to that level and stop okay by adjusting this probe that corresponds to this level, you can tell the top of the water hits, just barely hits this particular probe. Not this one, this one's still in the water. Okay, so this one, it barely touches the water. By adjusting this up and down, the further down you go, the more water you get. The further up you go, less water, okay? So as the water drops, comes out of the group head, It'll stop as soon as it hits this probe, the tip of this probe, okay? And they're corresponding, there's four buttons, there are four selections. Each probe corresponds to a particular uh, selection. This probe is probe A, so it's for the first shot. It's usually a one ounce to one and a half ounce shot of espresso, okay?